Hi, here I will show you what formal methods are all about and what is a formal specification. Say hi to Bob. He's a programmer and today his boss has a task for him. He says that lots of clients will try to find product by ID and Bob needs to create algorithm that will tell index of product by its ID. So in essence, bunch of numbers will be thrown at Bob and he will need to find index of a specific number. So Bob went to his computer and cooked up an algorithm that looks up an array of numbers and as soon as it sees the specific number, it returns the index. So Bob's code finally runs in production. The first client comes, we get the list of all products, client requests product number two, Bob's code finds it at index one and everything works fine. That is until a stupid client comes and requests product zero, which is not on the list and Bob's code doesn't know what to do and his head blows off, literally, because this was his code. Beautiful, isn't it? Well, the question now is, was Bob wrong? The answer might surprise you, but no, he wasn't wrong. The code was all okay. The boss never actually told Bob what should happen if the product is not on the list. So it could do anything, there was just missing specification. So this time, boss says something like this. Listen, Bob, next time you don't know something, just come to me and ask and I will tell you. Okay. So Bob went and started working on his code. And after five seconds, he comes back and asks boss, uh, boss, but what about negative numbers? And boss tells, no, come on, negative numbers can never appear. But if they appear, then what? If they appear, then throw an exception. Okay, so Bob went and worked on his code more. Five seconds passes and he comes back. But boss, is the list sorted? Maybe I can optimize it. And the boss says, well, actually, good idea. Maybe we should sort it ahead of time. Okay. And Bob went and implemented more efficient algorithm. And five minutes passes and, but boss, if it's sorted, then is it an array or maybe a hash set or maybe some other data structure? So finally, boss got angry and just said, okay, I will just write it for you. And boss went and wrote the entire program himself. So this shows you that by asking for more and more detailed specification, we will eventually just write the entire algorithm inside specification because code is also a form of specification. But specification is so much more than just code. Specification are all the assumptions and all the questions that we ask about our code. The task of a good programmer is to answer as many of those questions as possible before the code reaches production. There are many ways to answer those questions. One of the most primitive and simple ones is by unit tests. You just run the code, you ask it a question, which is the parameters and arguments, and the answer is the result. And then you check whether the answer is what you expected. Unit tests are a form of specification, but a very poor one. We can do much better. We can use type system. Type system and all the types that we use are also a form of specification, although not everything can be answered. Another option is to use horror logic. There are existing systems that take advantage of that. Here you can, for example, see a snippet of OpenJML. It allows us to put assertions like these. It says exactly what is required from all the parameters and what is ensured by the end of running this procedure. I hope you enjoyed this short introduction to formal methods. See you in the next video.